my name is Pellicent Moon, and welcome back to Hemicraft Season 9, Episode 49. Or is it Episode 50? Technically, I just released a standalone decked out video by itself. I didn't really see it as like a full episode, but maybe it is. I'll let you guys decide that, but for now, I'm calling it Episode 49. Yeah, let's say that. First things first, before I charge fully into this episode, I would like to present a bit of a key announcement. After nearing two years, sadly, it is time for Season 9 of Hermitcraft to come to a close. The server will be turned off on Wednesday the 20th of December, essentially marking our time to say goodbye. However, by the time you're seeing this video, that date has probably already occurred. These next two episodes that you'll see from me are my goodbye to the season and will be uploaded after such a date, once I've finished editing them together. Season 9 has been an absolute blast with so many shenanigans and chaos and things and buildy projects and stuff going on, but there will be a time to get excited for our delve into Season 10 and when it inevitably occurs. For now, we're going to continue remaining focused on Season 9. And with that very vital piece of information now said, Let's dive into the content for today. It has been a bit of a hot minute since we have caught up with our super group of buddies at German Impulse, so let's start off today by catching up for the last soupy meetup of the season. I can't get me, it. And now here I can't you get are, it. struggling. Yeah. Somebody told them I'm on my way. Try not to kill this camel in the process. Eh. Oops. Pearl. What? It's alive. Pearl. It's fine. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, we're fine. No, you both. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, let's we just... need to let go of the camel dream. No, we don't. No, we don't need to let go of the camel. What's dream. happening? We must ride on camels while we drink soup, Jim. Ow. Okay. He's fine. Everything's fine. This is camel cruelty. <laughs> this is not. This is exactly worth it, Jim. See, look, I have the camel. Oh, no. Look at this. We're both happy. <laughs> I'm just going to go around. I'll be right back now. Are you here? <laughs> Might be a long process. Oh, my God. How do, I, how do I fix its health? Camels do not belong in dwarven mines. <laughs> well, we weren't down there. We were outside the dwarven mine in your village. <laughs> <laughs> we jumped down from up above. Wait, where's your camel, Jem? Yeah, where's your camel, Jem? Uh, this was my camel. Yeah. Yeah, there oh. we go. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Yeah, no, wait, hold on, hold Making on. Impulse. Pearl Drive. It's okay, wait. Mm -hmm. There we go, right now. You oh. you let go of your controls and you're gonna Okay. Come this way, right? <laughs> My hands are off the controls. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> come on. <laughs> wherever we go, Campbell we go. Campbell train, Campbell train, Campbell We're trusted train. in Pearl today. <laughs> oh, I don't know what well, show us your base. Oh, I'm showing you guys my base. <laughs> hold on, there's an important situation. <laughs> You all need Yeah, you're soup. the tour guide. Can you pick that oh, up from true. me where you're standing? Is, did you get yeah, that? Yeah, 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 got it. I don't know got how it. you're going to get this, Jim. Can you get this? Throw it up in the air. Up oh, I got oh. it. You got it. Wow. Nice. There we go. Super what's, group professionals. What's this one going to be? Is she going to poison us, do you think, this time? Well, they're all different. Probably. Good luck. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, oh night my vision. Gosh. I'll take it. I have no I'm idea. Blind. I think I got regen. Yeah, Jim, look at the blind one. <laughs> well, lucky you aren't driving. <laughs> it is lucky, actually. Did you just throw a ball on the ground? Oh, uh, you're littering in her base? Jim! No, it wasn't me. Jim! It's a mystery how that ah, got there. Yeah, funny that. Impulse! It's biodegradable. Impulse! No, I saw that! Gee, this, I'll leave you guys in my base and you litter straight away. That's just rude. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> impulse. Yeah, this is what you guys need. A storage room where you can put your empty bowls. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. Head on in there. Oh, okay. You know, it's high enough for a camel. Specifically designed. You a lot of details. Oh, I'm glad we didn't hit her head. Space. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. There we go. I sit in a chest, not on the floor, sir. It's fine. Oh! We'll let Jem pick it up. We can put our empty bowls in here. Not on the floor. I'm gonna put them in there. That seems like where they should go. Oh my god. I'm not gonna gosh. act like I haven't been in here before because uh, I, I may have borrowed a few things. Oh, Thanks, bro. I, st I stole you... moss just the other day. Excuse me, <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Pearl. You Turns know out what? You've been supplying the soup group all season You're long. You're going to have to show us something else because we steal from you all the time. Wow. Nice. To, <laughs> the admission comes out this late in the game. All right. I'll see how it is. <laughs> well, I'll take Whoa, you all to the hospital. Light. Yeah. Ooh. 
This is where you the guys hospital. need to be after I find out you've been stealing from me all season. The hospital. Right, yeah, nice. It's, it's a little, little bit of a hospital, slightly run down, but you've got all the beds you could possibly need for all the hermits that steal from me all season. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the flashing lights. Oh, it's so detailed. Yeah, oh. I, I wanted movement in my base, so I really wanted, like, the flashing lights was just a thing that I wanted to do, you know? And this is when <sighs> I get to do be surgery on you guys, because you're all aliens to me. You're not doing surgery on yeah. us. Yeah, that's... Right. alien here. Come get on, on the table. Get on the table. Come on. We got a dwarf and an elf. <laughs> <laughs> You're alien to me. <laughs> there we go. Right. What have you got inside you? You got a totem. You could pop that right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I can't chop <laughs> you. I can't chop you. <laughs> I'm alien. She's gone insane, I think, building no. this base. Okay, what's next? What's next? Where else? Okay, we let's go? go. We can go to the Sniffer Sanctuary. Not to be confused with Impulse's Camel Sanctuary, where there is no sanctuary. That's not a sanctuary. I totally that. sanctuary. It's just a post where he ties them on. It's cruel, actually. <laughs> you know what, Impulse? I've actually got something to show you. Before we go to the Sniffer Sanctuary, I have to show you something that's been sitting for months, unattended, sad, alone. Uh oh. Uncared for. Impulse getting scolded. Uh -oh. I think I know. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you think you know? You know you haven't forgotten the poor little soul completely. Oh, uh, my my prized possession from B Dubs. Mm hmm. Mm, yes, yes, yes. But look, this is a little <gasps> area, and he's happy. But he's been sitting here. This for my like guy? two months. Noodles. Yes. Aww. Noodles. Totally missed you, noodles. He's been growing moldy totally. among the moss, sir. I oh, can't man. believe you're gonna tie that camel on. Impulse! And just leave it. What? I mean, Are you replacing you, you your horse with the camel? Is this camel gonna be here? Yeah, I didn't like, I didn't like the camel. He's too slow. Animals. Look at noodles, though. Oh my we gosh. Can... The thing uh, is. I've been neglecting noodles. This camel's gonna sit here in the world download and it's gonna be here forever. Is this what you're about okay, to do? Okay, it's part of the lore now. Uh, well, everybody's welcome. When they start to travel this road and wish they had a camel to ride on and they come across that camel, they're going to be very happy. And yeah, we got a lovely little pretty walk through the forest as you go up to the sniffers. You see, it's a sanctuary. We're living in peace. Oh my gosh. And so it rain out tea and it's lovely. And then you get to see all my little flying dudes. <laughs> Can't help but notice you took my Mario down. <laughs> what? I can't help but notice oh, you yeah. took mine down. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ooh, look at him. Oh, uh oh. Oh, gee. Well, looks like the farm broke. <laughs> was... They're so cool. A... Wow. Uh, it's fine. You come in and just get tons of gifts. They're this very enthusiastic. My farm broke again. It does that because it's partially in different chunks. Right, come on, babies. Come inside. That's the way. Inside, Hold inside. the doors open for them. Oh, thank you very much. Oh. Uh, nice. They all inside. We're good. Guy. They're so cute. Yeah, but look, I got so many sniffers now, and they have been supplying me with a ton of uh, a ton and ton of pitcher pods and torch flower seeds, and it is amazing, and I love it. All right, <laughs> right. Um, look the other direction. Impulse, you're next. Ooh, All right, us. let's Show let's go to the bridge. Oh, this has turned out so cool. The way we connected our bases together with this bridge, and then gems just ah. kind of flowing out of the top of the dwarven keep. I love oh. it. So epic. What an amazing season. Oh, this is so cool. All right, come on this in. Awesome. Come on in. I've got wow. uh, three out of the four wings. Well, actually, there's only, I guess there's only three wings because one of them was the entrance. But uh, look at the, ma the, the amazing sword portal in the middle. I'm sure you guys have come through oh, yes. a few times. I remember that. It's missing yeah. some eyes. <laughs> It's missing some eyes. This was solid at the beginning of the season. Yeah, that's that's something I keep forgetting about. The the fact that this was a solid mountain and I had uh, to dig all of this out. You all of this wow. space so out. much. I remember that. I ended up helping a couple of times. But um I love this forge area to the left here. It's it's one of my more prized possessions here in the base. Oh. Mainly because I wow. spent a lot of diamonds in netherite on all this fancy trim. Come check it out. Oh my gosh. I've got like oh, every yeah. different type of trim on display here. If you go around, try to make cool outfits out of them all. Mm. Something that I, I think I've, I've seen a couple of times that I really like is how you've done this floor light because it glows like it glows from the middle and you've done yeah. the gradients so well that it just it emanating from it. I really like that. That's one of my favorite things I keep noticing. If you get too close to the forge, it's a little loud. Yeah. 
all the, uh, you know, things are being smelted and stuff. It, it makes noise, you know. Oh, it's but peaceful. it is a functioning, functioning forge. You can throw stuff in there and it gets smelted, which is really cool. So yeah, this is probably my favorite wing, wing but I really like the one across from it as well, simply because it is what connects me and Gem together. They're working hard. They're working hard over here to collect all the things Ooh. that we need. Wow. All the minerals and stuff. So we got a little mine system going down. Let's see. Yep, there we go. The cards are <laughs> oh, still nice. moving. That's awesome. You moving cards. I like yeah, moving. There they, are. Awesome. there they are. But look at all Very this stuff. Look at these shelves. This is We've been insane. working hard. All right, Mr. Richie Rich. Jeez. Don't yeah, want yeah. it so much, my boy, don't you? Where we, where we just <laughs> keep, it, keep it on display. And uh, when Gem's ready, we'll load it up and send it up top. Oh but uh, check this out. You can you can ride the. I think the camel will work on this. Let's test it this out. Is, this is what I really like. Now who's Once slow we got going the up the full stairs? Huh? Connection. I know, right? I slow folks. This yeah! is this is the part that's super cool because we just come out. We've got a little Ooh. hidden entrance to keep in the deep from uh -huh. Jen's amazing area. Oh it just ties it together so beautifully. And this and is a connector too, but you can't walk it, but you can see down. I used to watch you build here. Yeah, oh. that's right. Every once in a while I look up and Jem's just standing up here staring down on me. And uh, we Jem, we proved, Jem, we proved a dwarf and an elf can get along. Yeah, and an alien. And an alien, hey, yeah. I'm not an alien, what are you talking about? Um, Slash human cleaning lady in disguise. Hey, I, I've never said I was an alien. I don't know where you got alien from. <clears throat> Have you, you looked just, at yourself in the mirror lately? Weird. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what? It's the hat. It's the hat. No, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Wow. <laughs> Call it it's fine. I'm fine. I'm emotional turmoil. <laughs> the decked out hat's what gives it. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Super cool. Let's check out Jim. Show us a little bit of your area since huh. we've showed you ours. Yeah, we're going towards my sniffer area right now. Uh, this is this is not one of my better areas, but it is a little sniffer area because I wanted to use some of the flowers. So I, I put them all in here. Me and Cleo did this ah. when we updated. How do you I get see out? You have, you've treated them a little <laughs> bit better than I oh, do. Oh, you okay. can get through there. Wow. Yeah. Old Isn't Minecraft that, that is crazy. Ooh. I really didn't think you could fit through that. I yeah. was surprised. We've been doing that for like a decade in this game. Whoa! Well, <laughs> can you walk through it? I haven't been, I've been using the carpet, to, so. <laughs> I had to suck it in a little bit to get in. I'll, I'll be You're honest. welcome. New Too Minecraft trick unlocked. Mm. And from here, you can see my biggest project, which is the tree in the base. Yes. So awesome. Absolutely insane. It's oh got the interior and my head dungeon and a map room and a library and all kinds of stuff. And then there's a village down there too with like ships and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've got some like immersive sounds down here. Got some some seagulls in um... around my dock area. It's just kind of a tester. I only did two of them. I did one here and one in the forest just to kind of see what it would be like. And I think Aww. I like it. It adds a lot. That's pretty. Really makes you feel like you're on the dock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping everybody can hear this right now because it's absolutely lovely. It's a day for ages, you know, get out your drawing pad and sketch and... Yeah, I love hanging out here. You can go inside the mega base too, it's right up the stairs. I still have my impulse guards. Yeah, that's cool, I noticed that. But Keep you the riffraff out. Don't have the uh, the pearl on the tree, huh? Yeah, the little pearl on the tree. Oh, that was a bit too Singer. big, Pearl. No, it's too big. No pearl is ever too big, Jim. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to my mega base. We go up the oh. stairs here. We can go to my dining room and have soup with Ether. Um, with Etho. It cursed. Um, oh, is this your shrine or? <laughs> I think they're all no, the seats to take it right now. Just having dinner, that's all. <laughs> you got a skin okay. on here, I love that. He's made his way in. Oh, you have a pet axolotl. I do, I have two. I What's love this cozy fireplace. Oh, I really want to put a minecart in this so that you can sit. You can hey. actually sit at the fireplace, that'd be cool. Oh, what's happening down here? Is this the pit of death? This is my mob farm. Oh, wow. That actually, that's actually and my working. dungeon. This is where I keep everybody's heads that I kill. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yep, yeah, nope. Too. Okay, this this is slightly terrifying. I am a little worried about you. <laughs> just now. You're just now worried. <laughs> oh, 
I didn't uh, realize that someone living above me was going crazy slowly over the course of the season. What is happening? Murder dungeon. I'm not crazy. Just, you know. You say with a slight crazed tone. Uh huh. <laughs> You're Just, crazy. I can't help but notice that you mostly have etho heads. Any reason for that? Killed them a lot. She's an etho girl. <laughs> it's all right. Wait, we could play. We could play stat <laughs> mm -hmm. poker. How many player kills you guys got? Okay, who's going first? Well, what's the... It's that poker, right? We gotta wager something. Mm. I got pumpkin okay. pie. I have an impulse head. Can we uh, maybe do this upstairs where we don't have to listen to it? Before? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, player kills. Jem's gonna win this in. one. <laughs> I got a impulse? feeling Jem will... 50. Okay, Pearl. 83. Oh, okay. no. I have... Over 100 or something. 205. Oh, okay. I haven't even went in the guess. 205. I've... Oh my gosh. I'm going to go with mob kills. Mob kills. Uh -huh. Which one? Mob kills. Just like overall. overall in general? Yep. Number of total mob kills. Okay. You're totally going to win over me on this one, Impulse. Okay. Go ahead, Jem. What do you got? Uh, 3,900. Okay. Anyway. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pearl? 71,741. Oh my god! <laughs> 71,000! Wow! That's so many! I think Enderman, honestly. Holy <laughs> I've never used the Ender Grinder. <laughs> All right. Um, so, oh, that's pretty good. But uh, I think I got to beat just by a little bit. I have 4,308,000. Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, what do you mean? Aye, aye, aye. Why have you killed that? What have, have you, you seen the raid farm? I know you've seen the raid farm because you see oh it every day when you walk outside. God. <laughs> take the diamonds. I'll take this. I'll my take word. This. Thank you. I'm going to say distanced, cr distance crouched. <laughs> oh, this is all from decked out, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. This is going to be tough. Oh, crap. I'll, I'll go first. Okay. 445 kilometers. Okay. That's actually pretty decent. Not bad. I'm a croucher. I'm a croucher. All right. Yeah. Thing about me is I'm not a croucher. I'm a jumper. 163 <laughs> kilometers. Okay. All right. Well, I, I've got uh, 543.51 kilometers. Nice. <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. There Thank you, you very go. Much. I think we all just won one round. We're all back to square one with our diamonds here. But uh, Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. I'm just like looking at. All right, you know this is here. Here we go, Jem. If you're a jumper, what's your jumps? Um, what is this that? This is the final round. Is it just, <laughs> is it just jumps? Final just round, jumps, yeah. tiebreaker. You gotta chuck your diamonds uh, in. <laughs> Four hundred seventy-one thousand five hundred eighty-nine. My jumps is three hundred and seventy thousand two hundred and twenty-two. Oh, a little less, a okay. little less. Yeah, a little less. Mine is four hundred thirty-four thousand one hundred twenty. Oh, close, close one. Yeah. So wait, who, what was wow. yours, Jim? So I am the jumper, four hundred and seventy-one. Oh, yep. yeah, slightly close. Quite that was jumper. that was a bit of a closer <laughs> one. <laughs> that there was we go. close. Yeah. Anytime we're standing around talking. Jem's just doing this the whole time, that's why. Yeah, actually doing, doing this is a common Jem thing to just be doing this. Yeah, I do this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. 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 What a season. So much fun. GG. That was lovely. GG. Well done. Bases turned out fantastic. The soup group did amazing things. I'm going to miss us, you know? Basing together like this. Uh -huh, He's not uh -huh. getting rid of us. Oh, we'll not see you next year. Dang Ma it. Yeah. We'll see you next Dang year. It. Maybe, maybe, maybe we <laughs> can still, still stop with you <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you don't have to be right next to us, but we're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. oh, but we'll see, still what, be here. What are we next to you, Jim? Can't get rid of me. Aww. Yeah. That's cute. You see? Impulse, get in here! Stop standing over there! I can come too? Yeah, okay. of course you can! I wasn't gonna invite myself, Did I was waiting for the invitation. <laughs> soup group forever! Soup group. And thus marks our last clip with the soup group all together for season 9. I had an absolute blast with her trio together and it was a fantastic experience to base right next to some fellow hermits. Literally. Bases touching. That was super, super cool. And I would love to do more group interactions like the soup group for season 10. So we'll see what happens. Regardless, it's going to be now time to pop back to my base. So 
If it wasn't too clear from that clip, or if post-editing at Pearl didn't make it obvious, uh, my base has a lot going on, but also there's a decent amount still unfinished. And for today's episode, I intend to change that as much as we can for a last productive effort to kind of pull it a little bit more together. I've got a little list in front of me of what I found to be the most important buildy types of things that I wanted to finish to a certain point before the time is out. Let's get started. The big glaring one that we've been staring at since I started this video is the human tunnel. Some interiors are kind of missing a little bit here and there and well yeah you know, the tunnel gets a little bit bland towards the end <laughs> just a few stone walls and some torches down it's fine and you know what i also feel like i never really covered that i've been slowly working on the human tunnel in the background within the actual episode so hey here is a couple of updated pieces that you might not have seen on the left hand side here he was a building that i made to kind of serve as the laboratory or science lab kind of building very white in nature to fit the theme yet still kind of grungy and rough here and there with some texturing. I think it looks quite nice. It's a little bit more modernized. At the moment, it's just housing my beacon and a couple of project shulkers. That's about it. So pretty empty at the moment. And on the right hand side, we actually have a kind of a greenhouse type farm building that was supposed to supply food for the human civilization. And you know, I've also got a lot of oranges in my palette for my base, but I think this one stands out in its own way. Like the rest of the human tunnel doesn't really have a lot of orange in it. So it still manages to keep its vibrancy as being an important building, just like the laboratory in its own, while still feeling pretty earthy in nature. And I kind of feel like that communicated that it was a food building fairly well without being too green because you know I've kind of made the hospital pretty green I didn't want them blending together I kind of wanted them to stick apart with their own character the inside of this does have an interior started I've just got to kind of pull it together because these beds here are gonna like house all the different crops and food that they were growing maybe a couple of alien plants that they were trying to figure out how to eat gosh knows what and it's got two areas one with a slightly higher ceiling with plenty of room for detail and of course one with the lower ceiling and we'll definitely have to get this one detailed today. Unless if we walk back out of this building here, you'll notice there's a more, bit more of a staircase going down here that I don't think I ever really delved into. If we walk down these stairs here, this is actually a bit of a small underground dining or eating type of area. I originally envisioned some small restaurants or cafes with plenty of tables and chairs to sit at uh, that I've mocked in stone so that I wouldn't get too distracted by the detailing and anything like that. And I just kind of never got around to finishing it. So this absolutely needs to be completed because I'm actually quite excited about this particular area. But with those three buildings, that is pretty much it. How's about we actually get building in this thing? Let's start us off to today in something quite small that's kind of needed to be done for a while and that's actually in the hospital bay. Now overall it looks pretty complete right? There's not a lot else to it that seems to be needing to be done but you walk in you've got the foyer here all looks good. You've got all of the different like beds and everything that the patients would sleep in. Even walking back here, we've got the operation room. All looks good, yeah? But no, on the right hand side of this building, uh, I just never got around to making the second operation room. It's basically supposed to be a replica of the one on the other side. And uh, yeah, I just kind of built everything else and then forgot about this. <laughs> So I'm going to get started today by doing just that. I've got a few resources already gathered that's just copying the materials that I've got over there. And I'm going to just going to do the same thing over this side. Let's make this big feel complete, shall we? Now is the time that you stare into my eyes as we finish this part of the building because it will be done in just a moment. It won't be long, just a little bit. Oh. And walking in the doors and would you look at that? It's all done! Just like the other side of the building with the other operation room, we finally got the right hand side one in and all completed. It's basically the same thing, just a nice continuation from the rest of the hospital. It works! It's finally done and it's not just some random kind of ugly stone room that looks incomplete. I feel a lot better about that. Awesome. All right, next, we're going to pop back down to the eating spot that I mentioned not too long ago, and we're going to dive right in. I am very excited to get into this one. One of the first things that you thought I might get started with are the buildings, but no, you know what? I actually want to add some functional lighting in here. Well, I mean, lighting is functional as long as it's lighting up the area, right? But I want to add lighting that you can actually toggle. When I first started playing Minecraft, I think one of the early things that I remember doing is 
really being fascinated by the fact that you could technically make light switches in Minecraft. You can turn on and off the house lights in whatever building you create, right? And we don't really do that because turning them off ends up spawning mobs, so it's not really practical. But I want to do it anyway. The human civilization lived here after all, okay? They're gonna have a way to turn on and off their lights. Can you imagine being blinded constantly while you're living? Just lights on all the time. No thank you, I need to have my mood ear at some point. Okay, so we're just gonna chuck this in here like that. And then we're gonna chuck in that right there. Now this is crude redstone, okay? Don't expect compact stuff. And it's also not intended to be anything amazing. It's still just setting lights on and off. <laughs> like that, that's all this is. <laughs> it's nothing particularly fancy by any means. And I actually need to install the lights up here. So let's grab, put those in. Because I'm getting these in first, so I don't have to worry about them later. And then the last four there. And just like that. Don't need that last piece. There you go. Look at that. I don't know if we got lights. I like it. It's satisfying. <laughs> okay, right now. The next thing we're going to work on is we're going to work on this building right here to get started. This is going to be a nice big orange building. There's going to be some, uh, it's kind of like some secluded dining. There'd be a couple of seats along the wall just for people to hop in and eat. There's not going to be a shop in here or anything, but they'll have a nice old Frosty the Snowman to keep them company while they're munching on their food. So that's what this building is going to be all about. And it's going to be predominantly acacia and sandstone and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I need some little seats. Oops, scaffold. Oh, I need my other yellow carpet and I need scaffolding. There we go, because we're going to do some little chairs. Actually, I do need to do the floor first. Hold on. Okay, right. So we're going to grab some scaffold. Now that my floor is done, we're going to grab some scaffolding because we're going to use these as our little chairs that they're going to dine at. Chuck them in like places like this and they can sit on these. Have a nice little cushy, cushy, tushy. With the, with the yellow carpet and they can sit here and I'll make some like little pressure plate type situations to emulate actual plates and of course pots for cups. I think it could be quite cute as a nice little eating area. Oh, there's a couple of little signs I gotta do. Do I have any spruce signages? Yes, there it is. That one goes there. And then I think this room is, is done, right? It's a little eating zone. You've got little Frosty the Snowman to keep plenty of company. Lit up by some, some little frog lights underneath, nice and simple. I don't know, just a little cozy spot, nice little secluded place. You can sit in the corner and munch on your alien plant burgers. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, first building done. Right, let's move on to the next one. Let's do this one right here. I may have forgotten about the roof. Okay, let's do the roof real quick. Okay, take two, yes. The roof is done now. <laughs> okay, now it's done. Now it's good. Okay, ne next building. Not getting any any kind of deja vu at all. It's fine. You know what I heard yesterday? The absolute blasphemy of the hermits coming to the end of the season and saying, you know what? I gotta clean up my base, but I can't be bothered. And then them saying that they were gonna just chuck it all on the ground. And what, you think just because it's the end of the season that you can just chuck your stuff on the ground? No, go put it in boxes. Yeah, absolute nuggets. Right, so we've got the majority of of our kind of build place in here. But what we now need is we've got this kind of little eating um, type countertop, right? We're gonna chuck in some little chairs in front of it. Some little carpets on top, just like our little dining room in here, so that they can sit up here and eat whatever they order. And then you can also got a little bit of banners hanging up the top too for the shop, looking nice and pretty, just like that. And then because this shop is kind of dark and doesn't have any official lighting, we're gonna also stick some glow lichen on the side too. So when you turn off the redstone lamps, part of it's still going to be lit up enough that it just has enough light to stop the mobs from spawning. So yeah, we'll do a couple more little details on this one and then we'll kind of move on to the big eating section over here. This section with all the stone squares everywhere, these are going to be tables. Um, so this should be a, a bigger area to eat that's a little bit more public, more open for group discussion, um, not so secluded, and there's going to be some like bigger boards to order from over there that's a slightly like bigger establishment so this should be pretty cool ah uh, dang it this happens every time get back inside in everybody inside everybody inside everybody inside come on in you come you can do it you can open that door i believe in you you butts this hold on Thank <laughs> you. 
It's like such an ominous little tune that they're making. Because they're dropping items at me, right? And this is the noises they make while they drop items at me. I just needed a picture plot for my, uh, my little eatery place, and this is where we are. Da, da, da. Okay, I should probably... <laughs> right, put this stuff away now. I need to reactivate the farm. I got my, I got my picture pot. I'm good. I had a little tune. Back to building. Okay, now this bit actually... This next bit is probably one of my favorite bits, I think, that's going to work really well. If we use some mangrove signs, right? And you place them down, standing this way, and then you get some red carpet and chuck that on top. You got a little table. Just like that. Nice and easy, some lovely legs, you got plenty of support, and you've even got a pattern on top of it. And you can chuck a few chairs around it, just like this. Do your typical slab chair, add a bit of a backing with the trap doors, and it's just a, a neat little setup. And there you go, you've got your little tables and chairs, so they can sit at, have their meals, it's a bit more of a public space, have conversations in a larger group. And of course, this particular building in general back there, it kind of pops a little more. It's a little more bold in its color, although it still includes elements from the first building, so it's still linked to that one. But the red is just a little bit more vibrant, so it kind of stands apart in its own right and drags your attention towards the tables. That's kind of just how I see this use of color. Uh, I do want to put some pre some uh, item frames in there with little food pieces too, but I do need to go and get those. So we're just going to move on to the next building instead. Oh, and that wall has to be orange too. I'll build it when I build this one. Uh... Oh, we got a bit of spruces here. I've gotten so carried away with building that one that I don't think... Yeah, I haven't even finished this one yet and I've started to move on to this one. You know, it's fine. I'm just going to explain it right now. This building right here is kind of going to be like that one. It's going to have a very similar seating arrangement, but it's going to be a little bit more in depth as being like the main one that everybody goes to first when they come down here. We're going to have some signs across the top that state like different little food choices they can do, but it's the one that everybody sees immediately and might just sit down here straight away. Whereas this building also, again, a very similar vibe. So maybe that's why I kind of just automatically float from one to the next. But then in the middle, you've kind of got their storage room. That's how I imagine this to be. This is like a little storage room that they can walk in, keep their food in these barrels, share wealth, knowledge, information, <laughs> how we want to imagine it to be. And they all have their own little kitchens in the back of each of them. So this should be cute enough. It's coming along though. Now at this last building, there is going to be a couple of little smaller details that I wanted to add to it. And namely, if I can find them in my absolute pit of uh, progress monsters here. Hold on, there it is. I want to add some little lights, and I think in a way this may be inspired from B-dubs or Scar, I'm not too sure. But these little mini blockheads work really nice as mock lights. Even though I'm slightly wondering why on earth they're placing to the side like that, I don't know, don't think about it too hard. But they look kind of cute, right? From this side, you don't even notice that they're slightly off center. I don't know why they're placing the way that they're placing. We're going to try something. I know I said we're not gonna, we weren't gonna worry about it, but let's let's try something real quick and see if we can fix the placement and whether or not this is part of the factor. I was placing them against the slab before, but if we place them here, but then if we place them there, then they're just too low down. And we're gonna have to put a block behind, and then we place that there. That's probably what we're gonna have to do. But then I don't mind them being a little bit too, a little bit further back, if I'll be honest. Maybe we do that. It might be a little bit more satisfying than having them slightly skewed off to the left. So okay, I think that works. I think we'll do that for our little lights here. I think I'm curious if I place this on the ceiling. Yeah, look, it's perfectly centered. It's because like the slabs, for some reason, it considers it like a side bit. Because you can also place them like this. So when it comes. I hate you. I should just leave them like that. You know what? That's a very organic way to place your lights. I was trying to example how these place sometimes, but now they're placing towards... The thing is, okay, I've, work, I've, I've worked out something with these, right? This is how it works with slabs. Whatever corner you're pointing to on slabs is how it's going to place, right? You focus on the top corner over here. You know, I thought I had it under control. It turns out I haven't. Let's just... Okay, I think it's the opposite of whatever you place it as. Nope, you know what? None of it makes sense anymore. I'm just going to accept exactly <laughs> how I've... And I think, yeah, we should totally leave it like this for the rest of the season. That looks great. Everybody's happy with that placement, right? No, I'm not happy with it. I'm going to fix that. 
don't question it. Don't question how the placement works on these skulls at the, when it comes to the bottom of the slabs. Because it's only going to cause you great suffering and pain as it has caused me today. Right! That looks a lot more satisfying. Wonderful. Okay, let's get rid of all the wood. Let's see how that looks. And we can all be satisfied that they're finally lined up. Ah, oh, wonderful. Look at that. And then you close the trap doors. And they're peeking through the trap doors. Well, now they kind of look like they're sitting on the banners, which isn't really what I was intending to aim for. But at least they're all even now and not really awkwardly off to the side. I'll take it. It's fine. Let's finish the decoration process. Okay, now the next thing we gotta do is we gotta put our food signs up. Actually, not like that. We're not gonna hang it like that. We're gonna join it from a wall. Can I have that sign back, please? Yoink! Paco! I'm hitting the trap doors now. Paco! Look, I did it. Bam! There you go! These are all the things that they can order. I, I kind of imagine this little store to be one of the most popular ones in this little section here. Like, it's pretty much one of the first ones that they see. They have all their prices well advertised. And then, just like the other ones, when I can find my scaffolding, this one is gonna have the little chairs just like the other ones. So they can sit on them again. Yeah, nice and cute. We need a couple more chairs over on this side as well. Fill those in. And I still need to make the back of that kitchen. This is the part where I've decided to split myself between the two buildings and that wasn't the intention, but it's happened anyway. One detail I've decided to use towards the end in bringing this all together is building pots with all the shirts that I collected ages ago, going around and digging out those sites that came out with the new update and utilizing these shirts to kind of tell a bit of a story as to what might have happened in the past human civilization and what the story and lore is. Completely up to you guys what kind of story you make out of this, but you can craft the uh these little pots right here by putting four in a crafting bench if i can find a crafting bench to do that in you chuck that in uh, just like a so one two three and four and you get a pot out of it Yoink. yeah look at that although i might rotate that one just a little bit so we've got more of the prominent pictures yeah you know what this just feels like i'm getting called out because i don't get to play decked out right now i'm here building in my base and I love doing this, but this just feels like it's teasing me now. My heart's broken and there's a warden on it. Like, come on, could the connotation be any clearer? Just want to place my ferns and my pots in peace. Okay, thank you very much without having to be reminded that it's the end of the season. Stop looking at me, stupid warden. Right, but no, the, look at that, look at that. It's a cute pot. I totally want to make more of these and put these around the place. We'll chuck in a furnace so it's functional if you want to use it for survival by any means. A couple of blast furnaces and then we need some yellow terracotta and yellow concrete to kind of stick out as a nice bit of contrasting color in this room. There we go. Now I need some sprucey trap doors to finish up some of the detailing. And we've also got to do the roof. Gonna chuck this one on here for a bit of a chopping board situation. And then over here, we're just gonna add a little bit of depth to the countertops and the cupboards. For adding a little bit of an extra shape that juts out. It's a bit more interesting. And then we should be good for this shop. We need to remove that torch, because we don't want that on there. And I believe this is still spawn proof. Yes, it is. Look at that. And if I turn this off, got a couple of spawning places there, but that'll be fixed once we put all the glow lichen in. But it's working. And I gotta do the roof. Right. We got some shops in, all is pretty much well lit up, and if you turn off the light switch that I've chucked here on the wall, I think this should still be mob proof. Not in some areas, I think I'm missing some glow lichen. Hold on, let's chuck that down. We'll chuck a lichen over here on the ground. The good thing about lichen is that it kind of blends in with this area okay, so you're able to light it up without too much obstruction to the overall design. So I think that little bit of lichen, yeah, that's now spawn proofed it, except for this little block in here. Um, why is it so dark in here? I don't know actually why it's so dark in here. Uh, let's chuck in a little piece over here. And that kind of mob proofs it, even with the lights off, which was my goal for this area. I didn't want mobs to spawn even with the lights off, so you can kind of have the satisfying thing of coming down the stairs, turning on the lights, interacting with the area, eating your food, and then when everybody's left the area, you walk out stairs, you walk upstairs, you turn this off on the way out, and it's just kind of satisfying. Like everything is kind of just in a really lull state. With some nice moody lighting going on, and you're still not going to get any zombies or creepers coming to attack you. The last kind of little touches we got to do aside from this bit is we're going to be just uh, doing a little bit of decoration and texture on the walls leading down and up, just so it doesn't look so bland. And you're also the fact that you're staring at torches, so we're going to add in some lighting as well. 
Just so we don't have to stare at these things all day. There we are. Beautiful. Okay, right. Well, I've done my stairs. We got the like kind of like little gray designs on the walls here. They kind of resemble old posters, even though they're not super detailed. These ones kind of look like arrows pointing downwards just to lead your gaze down. We got the lights in the wall so I didn't have to have torches anymore. And it just looks overall a little bit cleaner yet a little bit more textured at the same time. And walking on down, you come down into the eating area. You can flick on and off the lights, which honestly I find really satisfying above anything else. I love flicking the light and just seeing it happen. Especially when it's like one row of lights at a time. Kind of feels like a shopping center mall in a way. It's a little eating zone. It works. You got the torch broth, the printed quality meat, earth's pea soup, alien misc veggies, bubble soda, and pitcher pod punch, which I love that. We had a bit of a name change there. Looks fantastic. The planetary sustenance essential shop. We got, of course, these other little kitchenette type uh, food serving areas here. And towards the back is where the main dining section is, where people can communicate with each other, with, with each other and just kind of have a more of a social experience with the nice eating area down there finally completed and looking absolutely wonderful we can finally move on to the actual tunnel itself because well yeah this is this is kind of sad honestly i don't i do not like looking at this at all so i'm gonna add a little bit more to this today just to try and polish this up a little bit more so it doesn't look so abysmal and the next bit that i'm thinking of adding in here is i actually want to make a bit of a kind of a sleeping area a place that the humans might have you know taken just to pass away the night or whatever kind of environment day night time that this planet would otherwise have i also kind of want to make a little bit of like an airlock type situation something that maybe like they had some big bunker doors or something just in case anything would have happened so i've got a couple ideas in my head and i wouldn't mind seeing what it looks like actually implemented in the tunnel but you know what seeing as we did a little bit of a jump skip with the hospital and then kind of like a, a you know during the build type of explanation for the eating zone i think we can have a little bit of a pretty mini time lapse here for this next one. I'm just gonna get building. Let's do it. Roll the time lapse. It finally feels good to say that I have added yet another portion to the tunnel right at the end of the season. Like, I am building this on the day the server is closing. But you know what? 100% worth it because look at all the detail that's been added here. Unfortunately, like, the water doesn't really render too well with the sodium version that I'm currently using. But you can see the bubbles over here on this machine. This is supposed to be the water filtration machine that the human civilization would have used to get appropriate water. And I just love the little bubble effects that you can see through the glass. But you know what this is disguised as? It's actually disguised as a, uh, a compost. I would show you. Hold on, if I can just grab some kind of organic material here. This is actually a composter. And there you go, you kind of heard it. It's not going to come out the other side, obviously, because it was one bit of sugar cane. But, you know, input, output chest, it's functional. Even though it doesn't supply water, it does something. And that's something that I really wanted to add into this whole area. And before I move on to that big section there, I am going to mention that I did slightly improve the science type building. I don't think, unfortunately, I'm going to be able to do the interior of it. But I did fix some of the outsides and how messy it was looking. We've added a bit of glow lichen on the walls. And you know what? Again, I've added another light switch. I've added a few of these to the human tunnel in this last few sections here. And I am so happy with them. It's just so satisfying. You know, it brings out my inner child. We you know when you were younger, wanting to flick on and off those light switches and you can do it. And you know what? If you have them off, the mobs won't spawn because the glow lichen lights up the area enough that none of these tiles are mob spawnable. So you can have it on or off, whichever you want to do doesn't matter it's fine then moving inside of course there's not much going on here we've got the beacon stored in the other room over there but in this room i've decided to add a wall of furnaces so you don't have to keep flying up to my starter base to use the furnaces that i've been doing all season but this wall here is pretty significant i originally had these signs on the wall out there and these were actually like all the little ideas 
that I had of what kind of functional buildings that I wanted to include in the tunnel. And you'll see later on that there's actually a bit of a, a quite a, a decent space that I ended up leaving because I thought it would be really cool to see what you guys might otherwise have added to the human civilization tunnel. Something that I really, really enjoy doing is collabing with people. And during all the streams and the videos, it's always really cool to read all your suggestions and ideas of what could have been made. And I'm leaving that as an option to you guys if you wanted to add your own once you get the world download there is a nice big spot for you to do and these signs just hold a few ideas of what I was originally thinking of adding but wasn't necessarily going to so yeah I thought that was kind of cool just to leave up on the wall as uh, my thoughts laid down in signs, I suppose. But let's move back out here. We can turn off the lights as we move on out and we hop down into this new section. You'll notice the big doors straight away that I've decided to add as kind of like the airlocks that I was talking about. We've got the giant wheel they'll use to turn to open and close the airlocks. And once it's open, they can walk on in. And in here, I've actually included a bit of a bedroom. And you know what? Let's... I Again, I'm gonna flick on some lights. They don't do as much because the ceiling is super high, but you know, it does something. And in here are all the beds that they would have used to, of course, take their naps during the day. Now, they don't exactly have their own bedrooms, but I think it works as some pretty temporary accommodation while they're exploring what would have been the alien planet. It's got a nice contrasty crimson roof, although it's a little bit, you know, run down. It's quite dirty, hasn't been cleaned in a little while. And then on the back here, we've got some uh, little little sniffer eggs on display with some alien flowers in there as well. Now, these are actually uh, uh, like heads, those, those head block type things, the player head blocks that you can get from one of our data packs. Because if you put a real sniffer egg in there, it's going to eventually hatch and then the sniffer is just going to suffocate. Unfortunately, there is no way to stop an actual sniffer egg hatching, so I had to use the player head versions. But it looks cute. Either way, I think it works. And yeah, of course, we've got some small blossoms too for extra little particle effects and movement. And then coming out, this is the space that I was talking about. It's a nice clean space. I've tidied it up. The torches are nicely placed on the wall now. But I think this is like kind of a decent spot that will allow you guys to put whatever ideas that you had actually down into the game and into the world. So, you know, you're not competing with my stuff. There's already some allocated. And you know what? If you do build anything, in this in the world download like post it somewhere that i can see it because i would love to have a look at what you create because that would be seriously cool i love the idea of it anyway yeah so with all of those pieces in i think the tunnel is looking pretty cool and especially when you fly through it too there is just so much going on like i, I do wish i was able to go all the way to the end of the tunnel but there's just so many things that required my time this season and it's just kind of inevitable that there was gonna be something that wasn't quite fully finished in this project but i i think it's awesome to get you guys involved anyway however i'm not quite done there's a little bit more building to do it's not too much but it's involving the section out here this looks absolutely terrible but you know what i've done is of course we've added yet another one of those big doors and this kind of leads to the outside of the terrain and to the fresh air and uh, well this pathway looks pretty horrible so i think the last thing that i'm going to be doing at least in the human tunnel section is just to fix this bit up and seeing as the last thing that we had had a time lapse i'm just gonna beep bop boop beep it and uh we'll have some new terrain so i'll be right back and just like that we have a bit of a fixed path it's honestly it's pretty basic it's not amazing i didn't go full custom because it wouldn't have really fit in with the vanilla terrain around it but it looks just like it looks a little bit less awkward now you know slightly rocky slightly bumpy but at least it still leads you right into the tunnel so you can swoop in and fly right through does the job right though so, there is one more building task that i actually want to get to today and well the fact of the matter is unfortunately it's not going to be the decorations on the train it is the very last day of the server and i just have to accept the fact that it's, unfortunately i cannot add anything else to this i just do not have the time i definitely bit off a little bit more than i can chew uh so close to the end of the season by adding a whole new section of terrain 
brain. But, you know, at least it looks cool even by itself. I am a little disappointed I didn't get to do it. But, you know, this is my second season of Hermitcraft. One of the last season was the shortest Hermitcraft season out there. This one is the longest Hermitcraft season out there. I'm definitely learning what I can and can't get done within a certain time frame. Again, this could be a fun collaborative project between the community. And who knows, maybe I was kind of thinking I maybe I'll expand on this in creative with some standalone videos between the seasons. I can't make any promises, but it's an idea I've got floating around in my brain that I wouldn't mind trying to kind of add th uh, to this and detail it a bit more. But the thing that we are going to focus on today that I felt I could not leave was uh, the bridges. <laughs> the bridge connecting my base to Tango's and then over on the other side this bridge over here connecting well my base to my base we need to be making these I can't leave these as broken pathways so I'm gonna quickly chuck a couple of bridges together that are gonna be in the theme of the human civilization as if they're bridging across the terrain this one's gonna be pretty industrial and I think the one over by Tango's is gonna be just a little bit more wooden and kind of basic to fit in with the area let's get started Ah, post-editing Pearl here while previous Pearl builds the bridge. Ah, oh, yes, wonderful perfection. Okay, I think previous Pearl is ready for post-editing Pearl to bring it back in again. Okay, see you soon. And just like that, we have our first bridge. Now, of course, as you can immediately see, this one is a very similar palette to the other human structures that I already have going on with the light blue terracotta, I believe this is, the clay. Then you've got the deep slate in there as well with the muddy tones in it. And I gave it a bit of that kind of slightly rundown feel about adding in the oak trap doors for the roof of it. Of course, with a little bit of overgrowth because we have to have the overgrowth and it works. It's functional. It does it. It's got a couple of little fancy pieces of technology on top. I like adding my little poles with the redstone torches. I can't help it, but I think it fits in pretty decently. If only I had like some extra little pieces around it as well, because we don't have a, too many structures on this side of the land. So maybe that could have been nice if I was expanding in the future. But I think if I give it a little bit of a fly back over here, yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. I reckon fits in right next to the rock, keeps the same kind of tones. I think I like it. Right, let's get to building the second bridge, shall we? Now the one over this side, I'm going to go for a bit more of a woody undertone to match the uh, the pathway that both Jem and I had made on the way to Deck Down. Yeah, I reckon that wood field that I'm going to end up using should give it a bit of a newly explored type of area, which is the direction that I would love to go in for this one. And cue another post-editing pearl that gives a bit of a space for past pearl to build the second bridge. Ah, yes, perfection, wonderful. Okay, bring it back in past pearl and flying in as you can see i'm already done there we go just a nice simple bridge to blend in with the path and i've added a little bit of a textured wood gradient towards the end to kind of help it transition towards the ice biome a little more like as if it's been frosted over with a bit of ice or something and the wood has lightened in color so both the bridges i've made aren't particularly like super crazy complex or anything in fact this one is very simple by nature but i do think it kind of fits in with the environment around it and i reckon it works all of this could definitely be accompanied by supporting elements to make it blend into the terrain even further but um i reckon i am all good with this design that we've made up so far and you can get from one piece of terrain to the other we are officially linked by this tiny little abysmal wooden bridge but it's fine and as i fly away from that little bridge that i have just made that is actually pretty much all of the like specific building tasks that i wanted to get to today just to kind of tidy up a few areas oh and by the way i didn't really mention it Although I guess we might have seen it in the gem and impulse clip if I did include this section that I did build up this little campsite area with some rocks and decoration around it. And honestly, this is kind of the vision I had for the rest of the path going around as well. Just some small terrain and plant details. So I'm happy with the details that I did here to kind of bring this spot together a little bit more. It makes it a bit more fun to walk down the path here. But yeah, that's pretty much all the kind of important building pieces that I really, really wanted to attend to today. I'm not going to, you know, lose sleepless nights over these ones not being done anymore. And anything that isn't done, it is what it is. I'm going to be learning for next season what kind of size base we can do. But you know what? I have had an absolute blast making this base and I am going to miss this indefinitely. This is probably one of my favorite survival builds that I've probably ever done in Minecraft and 
I could build this for so many years more. You know, this build would have never been complete. I don't think I could have completed it because there's just always more pieces that I can add, more interactive and engaging elements that I could bring into to add immersion for people just walking through it in general. I'm really proud of this area here and specifically the forest, the kind of autumnal looking type of forest that I've made up there with the sniffer building. The environment up there, it just comes together so well and look at all the little path texturing and detailing that I did in here. If only this had some particles to go with it but I was, I was really proud of this area in general so this has been an absolute fantastic build and I will go over like all of this stuff and my build in full in the next episode. Just today we were focusing on kind of finishing some of the small pieces that I think it really needed just to polish off a few areas that were kind of bothering me and would have bothered me if I had left it for the rest of the season. Now on the non-building side that I wanted to kind of sort out I actually want to move this guy uh, down into the kind of dining slash eating area that I built today. I was thinking of curing him and being like okay then he's a functional villain villager people can use him for like food uh, like if I wanted to make him a farmer he can be a, a carrot farmer if I wanted to do librarians for books but then I'm just like but technically he'll be part of the human race and well lore so he's actually gonna remain a zombie and instead I'm gonna plant him still downstairs in the same place in the food area just I'm not gonna heal him if you guys get the world download and end up uh, wanting to live in my base you can absolutely utilize these villagers, just heal them with a couple of golden apples and uh, some potions. You'll be right as rain. But let's get these guys sorted and put them into a position. Now I'm going to get a couple of boats to do this job because that will suit me just nicely. Mr. Enderman here is going to go free. Walk free, buddy. You've been in that boat for ages. Ow, ow, ow. I'm going to get whacked by this guy a few times. And he is going to come with me. I'm going to find a good place where you're going to stay downstairs and be the wonderful human zombie that you are. <laughs> Come on, buddy, let's go. That's gonna take a while, isn't it? Yep, probably. Down the stairs, we've making progress. I honestly have no idea even which shop I wanna put this guy in, but maybe, maybe the first one, maybe this one right here, considering I, I kind of expect this one to be the most popular place. So let's chuck him in here, I think. That'll be cool. And my dude, you're gonna sit in this boat right here. Now, if I set it up correctly, I could have done maybe some honey blocks and everything, but this was a bit of a last minute thought. At the same time, if only he was facing in this direction, <laughs> that would have worked out perfectly. What if we turn the boat a little bit? We're gonna take a bit, a few hearts of damage. There we go. Is he facing the right direction now? Almost! His little head's gonna be peeking over the over the, the countertop. Alright, come on, buddy. I'm gonna turn you a little bit more. Oh, you're rowing the boat. Look at look at him go. He's doing it. Ow! You hurt so much. How do you keep turning the boat that way? You know what? It works. Look at his little face peeking over the counter. <laughs> I kind of like it. All right, let's get the other one down here. Hello, buddy. Oh, look at you holding my composter for me. Thanks, mate. All right, let's go. Follow me. You're going to meet up with your, with your friend. Do you know what? You're already a farmer. You're perfect for this location. Although, where on earth am I going to put you? What about this one over here? This one would be quite cute with you sitting in it. Let's go in here. You're going to sit in this kitchen. If I can put the boat down. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, what does he look like? He's not facing the right direction, just like the other one. I'm getting it wrong, I'm telling you. Ow, 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 ow. Please don't hurt me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. That was really close to death, apply me. Here we go. Friendly, he wasn't holding the composter. You could see his face properly. Buddy, would you mind dropping the composter? You really don't need it. Unless you're like wanting to serve it to guests, which kind of works, I suppose. Okay, look at my little dudes. <laughs> They're so cute. Right, I wanted to put them down there. I thought it was I thought it was adorable. And it frees up our storage now without all the zombie ruckus constantly going on. Alright, you know what? Let's close up shop down here. We're all done. I'm sorry, but I'm about to turn up the lights on you guys. <laughs> I like doing that. But goodbye! I'll see you later! Sometime at some point. Enjoy serving drinks to aliens, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're gonna walk out now. And be sad that they're down there all alone. All right. I guess that's it for my base for now. I, you know, I think I did say the zombies were the, one of the last things that I wanted to do today. Um, I've got one other like really, really last thing that I want to do today because it's going to be a setup for the next episode. Earlier on in the season, you may remember that we made a mini game called Bingo. 
And we did a lovely beta test with Cleo and Cub, and that honestly was pretty fun. I, I quite enjoyed that. And I intended for ages to actually make that into a fully automated game that I didn't have to manually activate or, you know, run. Sadly, that was another one lost to the, the uh, woe of time. But you know what? I'm actually going to be playing Bingo in the next episode with a group of lovely hermits that I've decided last minute that we're all going to come together and give it one last play. Now, of course, it's not automatic. I didn't get to set up all the automatic systems in it, but I'm going to run it manually with, you know, keeping in mind some of the feedback from the original session that we played. There's just a couple little things that I want to do to set it up and then we'll be ready for the next episode. So let's Let's pop ourselves over to the shopping district. There's a lovely bingo hidden away in the corner. I've kind of missed it to be honest. I was pretty proud of the game that I'd made. I just didn't get around to actually bringing it together. And you know what? I think uh, I may have a couple of hermits starting to assemble because yeah, I've got I've had so much I'm trying to tie together this week. So at least there's only a couple of little things that I have to do to make sure it's all fully prepped and ready to go. And one of those things is we need to actually add some food into the chest. So we're just going to sneak by Cleo right here. <laughs> and uh, get ourselves some food that we can add in to these barrels that the players can use for the game. Get ourselves some Giga Pies, because that'll do just nicely for the little sessions that we'll play. And I'm just going to stock up the shulk shulkers inside the little lobby rooms that they have with just a few extra Giga Pies, just in case they die and they need kind of a little bit of a backup of some food. Bloop, bop, beep, doop, blip, and... Ding. There we go. All done right now. They all have their own food just because there's probably going to be a bit of punching and potential death involved. And you might have noticed uh, since the last time we came here, I have actually replaced the floor with mud because I was intending to have a whole bunch of hoppers underneath to collect any of the drops that happened when players died. And uh, that was also my way of the mud kind of the hoppers or the hoppers collecting the drops before the lava actually burnt it. So I was starting to set it up for the automatic system. It was almost there. So close yet so far. However, because there is hoppers underneath it now, they're not actually feeding out anywhere because I didn't add that part of the system. And because I don't want those items kind of being lost for this round, I'm going to quickly remove those hoppers from underneath so it doesn't pick up all the items from today. Yeah, it's a little hectic underneath here. And this was going to be a lot of hoppers. It's probably not the most efficient way to pick up items, but a minecart wasn't going to do it quick enough. So yeah, that's kind of just what I had in mind at the time. I, you know... At one point, you know, I'm kind of thinking it might be cool to bring this game back potentially for season 10. It's a thought in my mind, not going to confirm nor deny anything here, but I, I kind of wouldn't mind bringing this back if I ever do get around to that. Do you guys want to see Bingo come back for next season? Let me know down in the comments below and, uh, you know, maybe I'll consider it and I'll actually work on refining the automatic systems and the game design in general. Should look a lot better, I reckon. All right, so there we go. Hopper's all cleaned up. They're not going to be collecting items that I don't actually want to be collected. Beautiful. Right, let's get up top. And I've got one last thing to show you before we... Uh, and this episode for today, I suppose. Let's just pop out here, awkwardly walk past all the hermits. What is going on out there? Ah, closed at the moment. Uncertain death. Certain death. Okay. Um, I have made a few bingo cards as well. Just a few extras from the last ones that I originally had. Uh, I know the design isn't amazing, but they definitely do the job. It just has to be basic, functional. Looking brilliant, and I'm really excited to see this game actually being played and in action because the gameplay is the most important part to me. And I do have seven bingo cards in the hopes that maybe we'll get seven hermits, maybe we'll get more, maybe we'll get some teams. I don't know, but this should be a lot of fun, and I'm uh, very excited. And you know what? I'm going to get to playing, but that's actually going to be in the next episode for you guys. So I'm going to end this one here. But you know what? I'm going to end it somewhere else because I don't want to awkwardly end it while there is hermits currently watching me. So Future Pearl is going to end the episode for us, okay? Okay. A Future Pearl here. Thank you very much, Past Pearl. Like Past Pearl said, it is indeed a time to end the episode on almost a little bit of a cliffhanger. It's being a really considered one. Eh. Either way, I will say that the bingo game played was super, super fun with a lot of laughs. And I'm excited to share that with you next episode in which will be actually the last of the season. Next episode, we'll go through the bingo game, but we'll also have a little bit of a chat, look back on what has been achieved throughout season nine and give it our proper goodbye. For now, 
Thank you all so very much for watching. And if you liked the episode, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Boop.